before you start cooking your turkey, you really need to set up your work area to make sure everything is there. We need a platter so that when we cut the meat, we can put it right on the platter that we're going to serve all of our wonderful turkey. I need to have the right implements. I need a sharp knife, and one of the things I always do is I sharpen with a steel, you know, like a 25-degree angle steel. Make sure that knife is really sharp because it makes a big difference. Another tool I use is a, a nice big spatula because as I pick up the turkey, I'm going to want to put it on the platter, and that's always very handy to use. Another tool is having two wooden boards. You take the turkey out of the cooking pan, you put it on this board right here. It's tough to work a turkey from a glass platter because it moves around too much, but when you put it on a board like this, it's easy to take off a chunk, put it over here, and cut it up into slices. So now that you got it, two wooden boards, a serving platter, and we're ready to start. First, I want to show you the big picture. What does the turkey look like when we're all done carving it? And the way we like to do it is we present it on a platter. We cut off the drumsticks and the wings, which we call the bones, and we put them on one side of the platter because we got people in our household who like them both. Then we cut off the thighs off the drums and we get all of the dark meat. And we cut it all up at once and we put that on the left side of the platter so people know where to go to, for dark meat and it's in the right size pieces. Then we take off both breasts in big pieces and we slice it like we do a roast and then we put them back on the platter just as you see them here and then we end up with two turkey chops which people really love it's like having a turkey drumstick but this time with white meat and then we put the stuffing right down the middle and we bring the whole platter to the table and we set it on the table with serving utensils and everybody's ready to eat Okay, and now we're ready to start carving our turkey. We've got this beautiful bird. It's about a 14-pounder. The pop-up timer is popped, so I'm going to pull that out, leave that on the side. Our first step is to take off the, the wings. Just like you have chicken wings, we take off the wings. So here I'm going to do that first, and I cut it through, and you find a little joint there, and it's very easy to get the wing off. Then I'm going to spin it around, and I'm going to take the other wing off from the other side. And if it's sharp knife, it'll just go right up and through. So now I've got both wings done, both placed on the platter. Our next step is to take off the drum and the thigh all in one piece. Let me show you how we do that. We slice in their skin there, and you can follow the, the, the meat as it goes around. Uh, it's very easy to see where the bone is in here, and you just let your knife slide in. And you get it and just give it a little pop like that because there's a little bone in there, and it'll just come out very quickly. Here's that bone we were talking about for the thigh. That's where all the dark meat is. And now we take and we make a slit right down in between the thigh and the drum. And again, we give a little crack, and you see the joint, and we can beautifully cut off and put the drumstick. Now we've got our, our next piece of bone part of the plate. Now I've removed the drums and put them there and the next is all of the thigh meat and there's a bone right down the middle and what we like to do is just take the bone on the edge being careful to keep our fingers out of the way just catching with the end of our fingers and taking all of the dark meat right off the bone and I've got a little soup pot over here which is nice because I can throw my bones getting ready for soup. Now this is half the dark meat and then we have the other half which comes from the other thigh on the other side and we just take that off the thigh in the very same way we carve it down and that all comes off and we put that in the soup pot and now we're ready to slice all of the dark meat all at one time and that's what we do we slice it in, in, in pieces because people love the dark meat we put it on the left side of the platter so that everybody can find it easily now comes one of my favorite little tools my trusty little spatula and I take up the meat on the spatula and I slide all of the dark meat onto the left side spatula really simplifies the process and now we've got all of the dark meat all on one side and we're getting ready to make the next step in taking off the breast I want to show you exactly how it looks and why it's so easy to cut in just above the wing and to slide your knife just let your sharp knife follow the bones right up along along the bone and it comes off so easily if you go down this way you run into a big bone right here so slide it in just above the wing and slide the knife kind of sawing it back and forth it'll come up just this way it'll come off in one piece you may have a little edge you have to nick off but that's such an easy way to get the breast off okay next step is I'm going to take off the turkey breast all in one piece we got two sides there's two ways to do it one you can find this center bone there's a center bone as we talked about and, and that's the bone we got it. There are two sides to it, and you got to go up and down it. What I like to do, instead of trying to go down this way, I like to cut in just above the wing joint down here, just cut straight in. 
And as I showed you, the, the bone just brings it right up. So if you follow your knife straight up inside the turkey, you can get this thing to come off all in one piece. And it really is very easy to do. As you'll see in just a second as I pull this off, we've got that whole, we got the whole breast off in one piece. All I did was come in and follow the bone up like that. It was so easy to do. Now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to cut in, back side like this, and then I'm going to spin it around here so you can all see. And again, I'm going to bring that knife in, keeping my fingers out of the way, and I'm going to bring it right up along that bone. I'm using the knife and I can feel the bone in there, and I'm just coming right up the side of that bone, and we'll go right over the edge of it. And we'll be able to do the same thing and pull this breast off all in one piece. And now we've got it all off, and now we can start slicing the turkey like we're actually doing a roast. And this is, this is really a neat part of it. And I'll start slicing, and again I'm using a sharp knife, and I'm slicing this just like you would a roast. Nice pieces. These are about uh, half inch thick. I can make them smaller if I want, thinner. And the idea is to slice these all down. And I try to keep the skin on top of it so that it has that nice look to it. Some people like skin, other people don't like skin. So we try to keep the skin on and let people choose what they want. And we slice that all the way down and we do that same with the other side. Again, here's what comes in with our handy spatula. We take the whole, take the whole breast and we'll put it on the platter just like that. Our next step is to put the stuffing on the platter. We've got the stuffing already made. It's come out of a casserole dish. And I'm going to use my handy spatula. And watch how easy this is, because we're going to be able to put this right in the middle of our platter. And this is really pretty neat. I, I, I kind of like this a lot, because it makes it very easy to get the stuffing in. And, and you have this wonderful assortment of, of turkey and stuffing all near each other. And you can serve it all at once. And I think that's really what makes it, what makes it so neat. Final step in carving the turkey is to take off what I call the drumette or the white meat drumstick. And if you think about a chicken wing, you've got the chicken wings and then you've got the drumettes. This is really the drumette. It's a little bigger. So again, we have this right on here. We take our sharp knife and we look for the bone, which is easy to get to. And we carve that just off of there. And we have this beautiful piece of meat, which is white meat. And we put that right on the back of the platter like that. And people love to go and grab that, particularly our white meat fans. And we do the same thing on the other side. Sometimes some people take this all off when they take the breast off. But I really love the idea of having the, the drumette like this, because it's really terrific. And we kind of put it around there like that. See how nice that looks right on the back of the platter. Just like we showed you in the beginning, we've got our final platter done. We've got all the bones on the right. We've got our, all our dark meat here on the left. Got the two breasts in the middle, nicely sliced. Got the stuffing up the middle. Our two wonderful white meat turkey chops. And that's your whole platter. All we have left to do is to garnish it. And by the way, we've, we, we've got this carcass. And as you can see, it's pretty well cleaned off. Maybe somebody wants to do a little better job. But as far as I'm concerned, it's ready for the soup pot. And of course, our final step now that the platter is all done is just a little bit of garnish. I like to use uh, just some parsley, some nice green, and maybe a few uh, red crab apples. They're just wonderful color for the holiday. And basically, that's our platter. We're ready to go. Enjoy your holiday. Thanks.